Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create an animated website banner using the refracted glass effect. So stay tuned till the end. Alright, let's get started. I've already set up today's task on the artboard. We'll be designing a banner for a design agency using the refracted glass effect and smooth animations. So, with all these elements in place, let's start designing our beautiful, interactive banner. First, I'm adding a desktop frame. Then, I'll draw a rectangular shape, set the height to 800 pixels. Now, add a gradient to it. Keep both colors in the gray tone and reduce the opacity of one side to zero. Next, add one more color to the gradient right beside the gray and make this one a solid black shade. Select the gray tone, click on the blend mode icon and choose Overlay. And done. Our rectangular shape is ready. Now, change the background color of the main screen to gray. After that, copy the rectangular shape and place it over the frame. Align it on the left-hand side and duplicate it to cover the entire banner area. Now, select all the rectangular shapes inside the frame and group them together. Next, with the group selected, reduce the opacity to around 16%. Once that's done, let's add some effects. Go to the Effects panel, choose Background Blur, and set the blur value to 80. Nice, that gives us a smooth glass-like look. Next, we'll start adding some gradient lights to bring life into our banner. Create a circle and apply one of the color shades from our palette. Then, open the effects panel again, select layer blur and set its value to 600. Now, let's switch things up for a moment, go to the main frame, hide or move out the rectangular layer, and change the background color to pure black. Place the gradient circle we just created on the frame. After that, bring back the rectangular layer and position it over the gradients. Now, to add more depth, duplicate the gradient layer, pick another color shade and place it beside the first one. Adjust the size and placement to balance the layout. Repeat the same process for the third and fourth gradient layers, using the remaining colors from the palette. Once all the gradient shapes are ready, take a moment to fine-tune their sizes, opacity, and placement until everything looks visually appealing and balanced. Now that our gradient background is ready, let's move on to creating the animation. To do that, first copy the main layer and start adjusting the positions of the gradients. 
I'm arranging them in a circular form so that, in the end, we get a smooth rotating gradient effect. You can experiment here, it's completely up to you how you want your animation to look. Next, duplicate the second frame to create a third one, and again adjust the gradient placements slightly. Then, copy the third frame to make a fourth frame, and repeat the same process, just tweak the gradient positions a bit. Now you can see we have four different background variations ready. Select all four frames and click on Create Component Set from the top right panel. Once that's done, let's add animation using prototype mode. Click on the prototype tab, then drag an arrow from the first frame to the second frame. In the interaction settings, Set the trigger to after delay. The delay time to 1 millisecond. The animation type to smart animate. And the duration to 2400 milliseconds. Now repeat the same steps for the rest. Drag an arrow from the second frame to the third, and from the third to the fourth, using the exact same settings. Finally, connect the fourth frame back to the first to create a smooth, continuous animation loop. And just like that, our animated gradient background is ready. Now, let's move on to designing our banner. Create a new frame on the artboard. Then, from the assets panel on the left, drag and drop the animated component we just created into the main frame. With our animated background in place, it's time to add the content elements. From the assets I prepared earlier, I'll first bring in the top header section, which includes the logo and navigation options, and position it neatly at the top of the banner. Below that, I'm adding the headline text. The headline says, Designing Experiences That Inspire. I'm setting the font to Poppins, the size to 72 pixels and aligning it properly to make the layout visually balanced. Now, to make it more dynamic, I'll highlight the word, Inspire. For that, I'm changing its font to Playfair Display, and setting the style to Bold Italic, this adds a nice contrast and makes the keywords stand out beautifully. Now, I'm also giving the word, inspire, a slightly different shade to make it stand out even more and add that extra visual pop. Just below the headline, I'm adding our CTA buttons to complete the layout. And that's it. You can now see our well-balanced and beautifully designed banner is fully ready. Since we've already created the background animation, Let's jump into prototype mode and see how everything looks in motion. So, I'm heading to the prototype tab, and let's hit play. And wow, look at that. Our animated banner looks amazing.
The background gradients are moving smoothly, creating a realistic, refracted glass effect that feels dynamic and modern. If you liked it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.